Hi everyone, this is Steve with Hover. Today I'll be covering the measurement PDF document in detail. By now you know that Hover transforms mobile device photos of a structure into accurate exterior measurements. These measurements are provided to you on an interactive 3D model and in a PDF formatted document as well. You can access the PDF in app or online. You can also print the PDF or export the measurements to Excel. Let's take a closer look at the measurement PDF of a complete order. We start off with a cover page. Where in the top right hand corner you'll find the address of the property. In the lower right hand corner you'll find the property identification number. In the siding summary page you'll find all the relevant information with regards to the side wall. When I was using Hover to put together a material list for a siding project, I'd spend the majority of my time on this page. Let's start off in the top left hand corner here in the area table. You notice that there's a siding column and another column. And we begin to give you information within the siding areas of the home and the other sections of the home. Siding is made up of lap siding, shake, scallops, vertical siding, and other siding-like components. Other would be made up of brick, stone, metal, and other components like that. So here on this specific example, we're seeing that there is 3,085 square feet of siding wall area alone. Aside from that, there's an additional 733 feet of window and door openings within those 3,085 square feet of siding wall area. Total exterior wall surface and opening area of 3,818 square feet. Under the other column, we have a total of 347 square feet of other wall area. Later on in the report, you'll find tables that will tell you the individual wall sections that make this up. Looking at the unknown no photos section here, you're noticing that there's 20 square feet. Please refer to the actual 3D rendering to understand where those unknown areas are, or later on in this report, you'll find elevations that classify each individual wall area. At the present moment, there's 20 square feet of wall area that we're unaware of what's actually on the wall from the imagery that was provided. And so it's important that we understand where that unknown square footage belongs so that we don't misallocate it when we're calculating our material costs. I always encourage people to make sure that this line right here, the unknown photo line, is always zeroed out. In the event that this 20 square foot area uh, marked as unknown on the actual rendering, is siding, you could simply reach out to our support team and let them know that, and we'll be happy to reprocess and update this report to reflect that information. The following table is the openings table. Here again, we're breaking down the openings information by siding or the other sections of the home. In this specific example, we have 45 total openings under the siding areas of the home. We'll then give you the trim lengths for the top, the sills, and the sides. Finally, the total perimeter. Siding waste factor calculation table here in the lower left hand corner will assist you in calculating waste. Everyone has a different way of calculating their waste factors, so we tried to create a table that would accommodate the great majority. Some people like to add waste factor to this 3,085 square feet figure up here, which is simply wall area alone. So for example, that 3,085 with 10% waste would bring up the square footage to 3,395 square feet, or 34 square. Alternatively, some people prefer to leave the actual openings in to accommodate for the waste. And so down here, we'll give you some waste factor calculations with the wall area and the openings. Now it's important to note that there's an asterisk down here that reads openings measurements exclude any individual openings greater than 33 square feet. For example, patio doors or garage doors. That's likely why you're noticing here that we're showing 3,626 square feet, and up top with all of the openings, we're seeing 3,818 square feet. There's likely a patio door or a garage door that has been removed for the waste factor calculation down bottom. Some people will add a 10% waste factor to that, and alternatively, we would provide an 18% waste factor as well. Top right hand corner is your trim table. Here, we're going to provide you all the trim linear footage dimensions for level starter, slope trim, which is typically a roof step flashing points. Vertical trim is a transition between a siding component and other component. Under the roof line table, we'll find the eaves, which are typically your gutter lengths. You then have the level freeze board, which in this case is 276 feet 11 inches. This is where the top of the wall meets the soffit area. 
Average depth for the level soffit is nine inches in this example. Please keep in mind that that is the average depth and that is not the actual depth on the entire structure. We'll later in this report have a soffit report that will break out linear footage by depth. This is the average of all of the soffits on the level planes, that including from porch openings, potentially a rear enclosed porch, ceiling. So please consider that when you're reading the average depth number here. We are telling you that there are 248 square feet of soffit area on the level soffits. We then provide for you the rake fascia information. And finally, the slope freeze board, which is where the rake edge is essentially overhang. Here we're providing you 185 linear feet of slope freeze board, which is where the top of the wall meets the soffit on the rake edges. Here we're seeing a three inch average depth. Again, that's taken into consideration every rake edge on the structure and averaging it out. We are telling you that a total of 34 square feet of soffit exists on the rake overhang. In the corners table, we'll provide you the total count of inside and outside corners and the linear footage for both. Lower right hand corner, you'll find the accessories table where we'll show you the shutter and gable vent counts, assuming that we can see them in the imagery. The roof summary page will provide you all the relevant roof information. In the top left hand corner, you'll find the roof facets, square footage, total facet count. We'll then provide you the total counts of individual line segments and the linear footage. The roof pitch table will give you the four predominant pitches on the structure. Later on in the report, you will find every pitch that does exist on the structure in a table. At the bottom here, we'll find a waste factor calculation table to facilitate your waste factor calculation. The measurement key page will provide you insight on where we're actually extracting our data points from. Please use this as a resource when you're looking at the summary pages to understand where it is that we're gathering the information. Alternatively, you could also refer to the 3D rendering to click on the individual line segments and populate and understand where these measurements are coming from as well. The footprint page provides exactly that, a footprint of the structure with the orientation. We'll label the front and the back of the property. The elevation pages will label each individual wall area. In this specific example here that we have siding area number one, each individual window is labeled. In this case, this is window number one. We individually label the brick sections as well, and we'll provide a page for each individual elevation. The facades tables will break down each individual wall area for you and give you a, a greater level of detail. Here you're finding all of the siding areas of the structure, page two of the siding area. We then move on to the brick facade report, which is going to provide you each individual brick wall section, the area, the openings, shutters, and vents. Finally, we'll provide the unknown facades in a, uh, in a table as well, giving you the square footage of the area, the openings, shutters, and gable vents. The siding facade table will provide you a greater level of detail by wall area in the event that you're doing a partial job or that you need to extract individual facades for different components. This is a great table to use to have every data point relative to that wall area. The elevations per side report is a new addition to our PDF measurement report. It will give you the orientation of the property along with the footprint and then a breakdown of each siding facade by elevation. So here you're seeing that siding area 1, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 14 make up the front of this structure, and that's a total of 590 square feet. We'll then give you the right, the left, and the back side. This is a great resource when you're trying to, for example, use a shake vinyl product on the front of the structure and a lap siding product on the rest. Waste factor calculation tables will be provided to you by individual siding wall area as well. In the event, again, that you're doing a partial job, you'll be able to extract or calculate your waste factor based on this table. The openings tables will provide you a complete window and door schedule for the entire property, labeling each individual window, giving you the width, the height, united inches, and then finally the area of the opening. To the right here, you'll find the entire door schedule. The roof measurements report will provide a populated roof diagram with all the linear line segments provided to the left. Here we're providing the ridge, the hip, valleys, rakes, eaves, gutters, flashing, and step flashing.
Under the roof facets page, we'll label each individual roof area. We'll provide you the square footage area and pitch. On the roof area page, we'll populate the square footage of roof area on each individual roof plane. On the roof pitch report, we'll populate the actual pitch by roof section on the actual report. On the left hand side, you'll find a table that'll give you the complete breakdown of pitch on the entire structure. The photos page on the report will provide you a summary of the images used to render the property. That does it for our measurements PDF. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. You can email support at hover.to or call in at 1-844-754-6837. Thanks for tuning in.